Welcome to the DCC Museum. Hi, and welcome back at the museum. Today a shipment came in. It's for a customer in New Zealand. It's a new inbox Panasonic RQDP7. And in this video, we're going to show you the restoration process. The box was open, but the player was never used. Everything is still sealed in the original shrink wrap. The headset, however, is a big mess as the earpieces have totally deteriorated. We always do a quick checkup to see if the player actually wants to start. Although the display is active, we actually hear no sound coming from the engine, which is odd. We have done detailed videos about total restoration of first generation portables, as you can see in the link above, so we won't go into that much detail in this video. Normally the belt that needs replacing is loose, but in this case the belt has deteriorated as well and the remains have now seized the engine. We actually might have made it worse just by trying to start it in the first place. To gain better access we have to remove the engine and clean the debris. The motor is now freely spinning and we can add the new belt. We've seen belts turn oily on other players, but never on a first generation like this. Now it's time to remove all leaking SMD capacitors. The trick with using a hot air gun removing SMD capacitors is to be very careful. You have to apply the right amount of heat and remove the SMD capacitors without touching the other components because they will move as well.
After adding new SMD capacitors to both boards, we can start putting back together the player. We always test everything before adding the sides and the back. Since the Patreon from New Zealand opted for the new 3D battery, that's what we test the player with. Finally, we clean the remaining debris from the headset and add original covers. Now we can add the official seal, as this is the 275th player we restored. We hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.